Keep your instrument rating current. You put so much work into this, why on earth would you let it lapse? Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and I know I have not seen you guys in a while. I have been supremely busy keeping the skies safe at my day job, which I am so happy it pours over into this because I'll tell you, it is so awesome when your job and your passions are exactly the same thing. I really can't believe they pay me for this, but more on that later. Maybe that's a second channel. So during the time I had my engine installed, I was down for about three months and to my surprise, my IFR currency vanished into the clouds. And on the 180th day, as ForeFlight told me, I did something. So technically my IFR currency didn't lapse because it was on that last day. But I went up, I did three approaches and a hold and I was back in the currency game. But it told me one thing, I could be current, but I may not be proficient. So it was time to get back into it and shoot approaches and shoot holes. So now all of you know, I go back and forth between DC and Tampa in my little Cardinal and I make the trip in anywhere between six and eight hours. And every time I do the trip, it is a blast and I feel I have accomplished a great thing and I really have. I mean, I get a ton of experience on these flights, build great time, and I absolutely love the adventure. So as we get closer to fall and winter, we really have to get comfortable with IFR flight and IMC. I, and all of us should be, am super conservative on the weather. Having an instrument rating does not guarantee you will stay out of trouble, and it can actually be seen as permission to get in trouble. So all of us should have and exercise our personal minimums. So this flight from VKX to ZPH was IMC for a good bit of the flight for two approaches, and I had ceilings of 1200 with tops ranging from 3000 to 4800, which really isn't bad. So. As I entered the layer, I settled in and I was prepared for a longer IMC trip up to the top just in case anything changed. And as I popped out in a couple of minutes to a beautiful blue sky, it was absolutely a smooth ride all the way to my first stop at HRJ, where the tops were about 4,800 and the ceilings were about 1,800, which meant most of the approach I was shooting was going to be in the soup. Runway 48, descend at your discretion, cross UMSO 2500, clear ZR runway 5 foot. Clear ZR five, approach Harnett, uh, descending down to 2500, 148. Now one thing both of my instrument instructors drilled into my head was to call out my altitudes and keep the conversation going externally outside of my head which really goes a long way to helping me feel relaxed while I'm in IMC talking out loud confirms what I'm doing, it keeps me outside my head, and it keeps me ahead of the airplane. 3500 for 2500. for 2500. Fair wheel approach, uh, 6462 Charlie, at your convenience, we'd like to do the RNAV 5 now. 3,300 for it is really imperative when you are in the clouds to use all your senses. I hone in on the engine sound and can notice the slightest change in the RPM. The new engine monitor helps too. But on this one, my throttle started slipping a bit and I caught it right away. All right, 3,000. Everything is looking good. Looking good. Nav lights are on. Maintain 3,000, or right at 3,000. And 11 miles to... And throttle slipping a little bit. 
Now, one thing that is pretty cool, and it kind of maxes out the geek scale here, but if you are a musician and you have perfect pitch, know what tones your engine hits. This may, again, really max out the geek scale, but if you are not a musician, never mind. But if you are, you'll understand this. At 2600 RPM, my engine is a solid D. And at 2400 RPM, Here we go, my engine is just north of the C. And it goes down about a step for every 2000 RPM. This new engine hums right along and it is solid, but I can actually tell what it is doing by the tone it's creating. And that's just me. If you're not a musician, forget I said anything about it. It's just going to be confusing. But it is such a sweet sound. And it is even a sweeter sight to see as you come out of the clouds, that runway is right in front of you. And that never gets old. It just makes you feel like you've earned your instrument rating all over again. Shooting this approach almost entirely in IMC was smooth and it was fun. And I had a nice stable ride and stable air for every bit of it and a very smooth landing. When I got to HRJ, I refueled, refiled, and went back up to the second leg to KSSI, St. Simons Island, Georgia, which is a beautiful little airport, and repeated the entire thing again. So my message here is simple. Keep your instrument rating current. You don't want to be caught by surprise IMC if you have to use it and you're not proficient. Proficiency is not the same thing as currency. So if you have an instrument rating or if you've just earned your instrument rating, get out there and use it. Stick your head into the clouds. Shoot approaches every time you go flying. Grab a safety pilot. And there are plenty of new pilots out there who are screaming for hours and you will both be better pilots because of it. So, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are over 50, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.